Oh, man. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Oh, f*** my life. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bonnie Vaughn here. And here at the TGH, we're going to bring you guys a special Valentine's Day episode. Uh, I couldn't come up with anything better than to go riz up some Overwatch 2 characters. Uh, I know nothing about this, so I mean, you know, I figured it might be something cute to do, you know. Uh, meanwhile, everyone's out there with their significant other and their loved one and family members, you know, having a good Valentine's Day. And I'm over here trying to hit on virtual characters in a video game. So, uh, that's my life right now, and I accepted my fate. So without further ado, let's just get into the mix. The official but non-canon Overwatch 2 dating sim. Wait, so non-canon? Oh, so that means that this ain't even gonna be real? I, I can't risk a Mercy or Sombra or none of them? Are you ready to play this thing? Well, I'm ready. I know what non-canon means. I, I I know it's all in my head. Whatever. Just let me play this game already. I'm already regretting my decision. What is my name? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your name is Big Sexy. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm ready for it. Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. I just want Sombra to call me Big Sexy. It's Friday night in the big city. You can use a laugh after the week you've had. The Laugh Attic is one of the most tragically unfunny comedy clubs in town, but you love watching people bomb on open mic. You know, I've been to open mics before. Uh, not that like watching people bomb and stuff. I mean, honestly, like it's just a good time. Like it, everyone's going on stage doing their own thing. So I mean, that's fair enough to say. Like it's a good time all around. Oh, sometimes that people is you. Ah. It's particularly dark tonight. So dark, it'll make for quite a dramatic reveal when your eyes adjust and you see who's sitting at the table in the corner. Oh, is this why I get to choose? Oh, dude, I, if, if it, oh, I gotta set aside about this for a second. Think about all the Overwatch characters. I think I have to say, Diva number one, Sombra number two. Oh, no, no, Mercy's number three. Mercy's a good three. And then, uh, honestly, four, Tracer, yeah, Tracer, and, and then for five, we'll add Junker Queen, and don't judge me, <laughs> eyes adjusting, 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 oh my, oh my, is that, is that who you think it is? What? I mean, Mercy was on my list, but like, no D.Va? No, nah, why is there only two options? Why is there only two options? What if I wanted to see just this thoroughly random example, Echo? Can I take Echo? Whoa, pace yourself there. You haven't even had your first date yet. True. True, alright, that's facts, I'll give it to you. Two options are pl- Well, no, it ain't plenty. Hold on now, don't, don't limit me now. You don't know what kind of riz I got, bro. They call me Riz Demon, bro. The Rizzler, all right? Wizard of Oz. You don't, you don't limit me. Two options are plenty for now. And maybe we'll add more dating opportunities in the future. You, you better. We're not saying this is some kind of test version of a potentially more robust dating adventure. <laughs> wing, wing, nudge, nudge. But we're also not saying that. Now, who do you see in the corner? Uh, I, I, want, I want Mercy. I want Mercy. It's Mercy! Genius doctor, genius scientist, genius inventor. No matter how many times you blink, she's still there. And you're completely... Lovestruck? Yeah, let's go Lovestruck. Lovestruck. You didn't know you had a thing for perfect, brilliant, kind of beloved philanthropist before. I mean, doesn't everybody? Well, obviously you do. I, I, I knew that, I knew that. But your dating track record implies otherwise. Hey! Mind your own business. 
Zap. Hark, do I hear the sound of beating fa- oh wait. Hark, do I hear the sound of a heart beating fast and smell of sweat on your- What, bruh? You smell my hands now? I'm Cupid, the hero of love, and all of its varieties. It is my sworn duty to answer the cries of all who desire and guide them to fulfillment. What is I to love and guide them to fulfillment? I can't read, dog. I'm, I'm too busy looking at Hanzo right now, bro. He ain't looking too bad, actually. My man Hanzo actually kind of kind of dripped up right now. You look around. I wonder if anyone else can see this. Or are you hallucinating? Do not worry. You are the only one who sees me. I do not interfere in the mortal realm. Consider me the angel on your shoulder who will point you in the right direction. <laughs> okay, that's definitely maybe on the hallucination thing. But maybe this hallucination can help you. Now tell me, are you in love? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm calling him out. Hold up, you're not Cupid. You're Hanzo Shimada. From the free to play game. Oh, do we go on this route, bro? <laughs> Alright. Which I have, of course, played because I just recognize you as Hanzo Shimada. <laughs> I get that a lot. But no matter how similar I am to your character in Overwatch, rest assured, I am Cupid, champion of love. However, it is entirely possible that Hanzo Shimada will have a skin based on me in the shot. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh, they really not holding back right now. What a coincidence. I'm sorry I'm laughing too much, man. I Oh, this is my Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh man, this is actually genuine right now. <laughs> uh -huh. Indeed, now tell me, are you feeling the signs of love? I hate this. I have to edit this too, man. Oh Now tell me, are you feeling the signs of love? Uh, no, it's just anxiety. I just I, I looked at her for if anything I would say lust maybe. I would I just I just see beauty in her. Nope, that's just my baseline anxiety. Oh, I, I think so. <laughs> I think so. I guess it's kind of hard to tell. The path to love is often confusing, but fear not. I'm here to guide you through all of its intricacies. Intricities. And and that word. What? <laughs> It means I'm going to give you advice. Oh, okay. So, do you wish to win the heart of mercy? No, no, I'm, I'm not going for Genji Mercy. Yes, yes, I want to win the heart of mercy. He arches an eyebrow. To win her heart, you must arm yourself with the power of knowledge. How much do you really know about mercy? Wait, is he actually sending up a trivia quiz here? I'm waiting. Uh, can I look at one thing on the Overwatch wiki first? Yeah, let's, let's, let's go that one. You cannot. Now, what is Mercy's real name? Yeah, she Mrs. Big Sexy. <laughs> Mrs. Big Sexy. Incorrect. Her real name is Dr. Angela Ziegler. Don't forget the doctor. Oh, Angela, like Angel, I just now got that. May the gods have mercy upon you. What is her favorite food? The tears of careless DPS heroes. Yeah. That's quite dark. I like that. She will not do better. <laughs> what is Dr. Ziggler's field of research? Uh, yeah, healing, duh. Incorrect again. I do not think Dr. Ziggler will find your attitude appealing. She's a pioneer in appalled nanobiology, more specifically, biotic technology. Same difference. In the matters of heart, the details matter. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's true. I've been, in terms of experience, you know, I will say, you know, details do matter. Yeah, as much as I hate to say it, you're right. I am always right, but do not worry, my magical powers will elevate you above your incompetence. Now you go watch your mouth, dog. I'll I murk you real quick. Wait, I thought there was no magic in the Overwatch setting. 
No more questions. Now, Mercy is a highly accomplished woman. What would impress her the most? I thought you said no more questions. After this one, tell me the most impressive thing about you. Uh, no, I'm, I'm funny. I'm funny. I like to think so. Probably not. If you're watching this, hope you think I'm funny. I'm really funny. Humor is an excellent icebreaker. And what fate? You are at a comedy club with a place of humor during open night. Oh, mic night. Did Wood just toss me a mic? Yeah. He hands you a mic. Click. Oh, sh the spotlight illuminates on you. And Mercy turns her head. She's looking at you. Nah, I'm not gonna like call her out. Why doesn't the surgeon like operating on elbows? Yeah, do that. You pause for dramatic effect. She swore to do no arms. Hey, I see that. I see that. The audience silence goes beyond mere description. It is a living being, vast, timeless, hateful. It bears down on you with deadly intent. But she likes it. Then Mercy laughs, a full-on, chain-storting laugh. The exhilaration hits you like a damage-amplifying beam. A well-timed resurrect. She should probably get her sinuses checked, though. You sit down at a nearby table, glowing. Out the corner of your eye, Mercy stands and heads over to you. Well, I'm told you I got that dog in me! Uh, I got that dog! Hello. Uh, hi, Dr. Ziggler. I just wanted to say, that was a very good joke. Uh, I'm glad it tickled your funny bone. That phase is so strange. The funny bone isn't really a bone. It's a nerve called the ulnar nerve, and it's responsible for the sensations in your fourth and fifth fingers, your palms, and... But of course, I understood your joke, which was also very good. What can I say it's a gift? Thanks, and the ulnar nerve trivia was also good. It wasn't humorous, though. Ah, I got that one. You so are uh, and funny. Oh hell no, I, I I do it for the lols though. If nah, yeah, let's do it. You smart and funny. Oh <laughs> fee. Oh my god, I'm having those thoughts again, man. I don't know what I'm doing. Mobility and overpowered are not the same thing. <laughs> Writers know. Mercy was not meta at the time of writing this. Please be merciful if she is by the time this sim releases. <laughs> that was supposed to be a compliment. I, I know. I'm just tired of being admired. Tired of love uninspired. Was that a reference? Yes. I'm surprised this made it past revisions. I'm surprised this dating sim even exists. Me too, big sexy. Me too. Indeed, that too. Speaking of dating sims, we should probably proceed to the next date. I was thinking something fun. Like dinner at the fancy restaurant? I'd love to join you, hell yeah, let's do it. I'd love to join you. Mercy smiles. You could die happy right now, and she would just resurrect you back. Fantastic! I'll meet you at the Cafe Azu in Circuit Royal. And she walks. No, floats away. I can't believe it. You're gonna have dinner with Mercy tomorrow at. Wait a minute. Circuit Royal? That's not in Midtown. If you want to make it in time for dinner tomorrow, you better queue up now. How do you think things went? You did quite well. You anticipate her feelings of interest. You're off to a fine start. The first date is finished, but the journey ahead is long and fraught with peril. We will endure these trials together. Alright, Hanzo, you my wingman, dog. Literally. Luckily, the hopeful future of Overwatch has a very reasonable price transatlantic train. Why did, why did I stutter saying that? You arrive at Monaco in a few short hours. Supercars zip by in the distance. The room of high end dining wafts from nearby tables. The menu's in front of you. You're cursing yourself for skipping French class all the years ago. It's exactly three minutes and two seconds past the time of your dinner date, and Mercy's still nowhere to be found. Maybe she changed her mind. Maybe there's an international crisis somewhere. She had to go. Maybe. Maybe she's just running fashionably late. 3 minutes and 57 seconds. 4 minutes and 19 seconds. She must hate you. Are you going to eat the breadsticks or just let them sit there? I'm so sorry. 
She's flustered, having rushed over here. I was working a new dissertation, and I wasn't keeping track of time. I got here as fast as I could. Do forgive me. Oh, happens to the best of us. Oh yeah, it just happens to the best of us. You good, girl. It happens to the best of us. What handle? Really? Shouldn't I be honest and tell her I almost just had a meltdown? Considering saving that for the dessert course. Mercy smiles and sits down. Have you ordered yet? This place has the fabulous beignets, the fleurs, the courgettes. Oh, oh, I hit that clean! Fried zucchini flowers. You take a deep breath, nod, and look back at the menu. Uh, you know, I know a dude in real life who do something like that. Bertrand Musili. God, I cannot talk in these simulators. You ordered the butcher muesli because having breakfast for dinner is one of the finer pleasures in life. Facts. And this was Mercy's recipe in a watch cookbook. Wait, <clears throat> I read it in the wrong voice. And this was Mercy's recipe in the Overwatch cookbook. Do you like butcher muesli as well? Because I also love it. It's the best breakfast. Yes, it is. Also, we are having dinner. I don't like to let society's expectations dictate my preferences. Amen, big sexy. Amen. Me either. Oh. That's why you don't look too bad, actually. Shoot. Like a par face sort of looking thing. Oh, hell yeah. That looks good. Bowl immediately arrives, cluster of bright, happy berries and trail of green and brown nuts and seeds on a bed of white mush. The way to describe it is sounding a little off, a little off, but it's looked good. Silence falls as you two eat. The awkward bit during dinner days when you can't decide if you should converse or eat, or talk while eating, or risk spraying your date with freshly chewed food. Uh, you know what? Well, I'm watching dating sim. That's that kind of facts. First date jitters are a thing. Cupid groans. Are you truly such an amateur? Start a conversation. What do I talk about? Something about her. Uh... <laughs> now nah, we're gonna go hobbies. What kind of hobbies do you enjoy? I, I like volunteering at clinics around the world and collecting crystals. Not canonically, of course. And okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Like not canonical healing crystals? My favorite is the rose quartz. It represents love, healing, and compassion. Uh, it represents love, healing, and compassion, right? Right! You high five, Cupid. Make Percy looks at you concerned. You forgot that only you can see him. My godly knowledge, oh, <clears throat> My godly knowledge in love does not cover how to recover from such tomfoolery. So helpful. Uh, just stretching the old Latin. Let Tissimus Dorsi. <clears throat> nice save. Anyways. Yeah, what does being a hero feel like? Yeah, let's go with that. What does being a hero feel like? You know, no one believes me when I say that it's not great as people think. The world saw me as mercy, a guardian angel, noble and perfect. But I'm also just Angela Ziegler, and I'm not perfect. And when the world saw that, saw me, they were disappointed. I don't mind being mercy. If the world needs her, then I'll be there. But I wish, I wish they would also welcome Angela. Oh, did I mess up? Wow. Oh, I need you, Angela. I need you, Angela. She chokes on a sip of water. The other patrons look over, oozing disdain at her gauche behavior. They discreetly slide a napkin towards her. You okay? Yes, I I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. But she looks down, face still pink. Thank you for saying that. It's nice to hear. I was wondering, I'm volunteering at the clinic in Cairo tomorrow. Would you like to see Angela trying to save the world? Oh yeah! Cairo? Egypt? I literally can't miss it unless I stop there. Or stop here. She beams at you, soaring away. Oh, soars away. Leaving a lingering scent of perfection. Well, perfect to you. Well, one way or another, that date is complete. 
Thanks so much. How don't I go? She seems happy with you. Only through carelessness will you lose her heart now. But there is still another day in your future. Do what you can to prepare. I sense this won't be most important of all. The dirt date awaits. There's no time to waste. As soon as the airship touched down in Cairo, it was straight to the clinic. It's a modest clinic, bright and clean. Angela hands you a pair of scrubs and she puts on a lab coat. She tends to patients. You help as much as you can. Hallways, mopped. Paperwork, filed and sorted. Supplies, stocked. You sit down in the break room, exhausted. Angela enters. You straighten up immediately. You must be tired. I'll make you some coffee. She hands you a cup of something that looks like coffee. It smells like coffee, but it's definitely not quality coffee. Well, coming from somebody who doesn't drink coffee, this is about to taste like shit. Her genius does not extend to the burstool parts. If such a thing exists. Why would you say that? Drink it. You drink it enthusiastically. It's endearingly revolting, but strong. Do you like it? Just what the doctor ordered. I know it's terrible, but it's plenty more, so help yourself. Your stomach gurgles in protest, but hey, it'll keep you awake. Everyone's telling me that you're a great help. Keep it up. She leaves. A compliment energizes you more than any cup of coffee. Get back to work. You head back into the clinic lobby, picking out coffee grinds from your teeth. You're quite the brave one. You recognize that quiet, really, really, ah! and turn around. It's. Hey, what's up, girl? No one has experienced Angela's coffee and come out smiling the other end. Anna, the Anna Amari, legendary sniper, original Overwatch Strike Squad member. The bane of your most of your matches? What is she doing here? Anna? What are you doing here? Are you hurt? Oh, I'm always aching somewhere. You know that. And who is this? This is Big Sexy. My... She blushes. Pink Mercy Pink. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, let's go with it. Date. I'm Angela's date. Anna's eyes pin mercy in place. Dr. Angela Ziegler, are you blushing? Absolutely not. It's extremely hot in here. Hmm. Her gaze pierces you. You know those eyes have seen the world's most dangerous criminals and their final moments. I always told Freya to look for someone who's not afraid to speak up. I'm glad you found someone like that, Angela. It was nice meeting you, big sexy. She leaves. Angela clears her throat, avoids eye contact with you. Um, I'll see you when the shift ends. You're alone. Wondering what just happened. All done. You impress Anna Hamari. Yeah, well, where were you, dawg? You were never here. Where the heck were you? Some mortals frighten even the gods himself. The important matter is, you impressed a close friend. Anna's opinion. Oh, I, I skipped it. Uh, and speaking of fate. Are you ready to see how your journey ends? Uh, yeah, let's see what happens, dog. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. We will see. Do you have a moment? I want to talk about something with you. Let's go. Angela leads you to the top floor of the clinic, where there's a rooftop terrace with a stunning views of Cairo. Wow. Spectacular, isn't it? I come here often after a long shift. We both take in the view of the city. But now, sparkling orange from the setting sun, the high-rise apartments, and freeways gather around its shores. So, what do you want to talk about? I wanted to thank you for these last few days together. You saw me for who I really am. Instead of judgment or expectations, you gave me humor, compassion, and kindness. That someone like you exists in this world, it makes me want to believe it a little stronger. Fight for it a little harder. I want to show you something. Take my hand. Is she gonna fly with me? Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Come see this world from above as I do, in all of its beauty. Yeah, I friend zone. Let's go. I'll go anywhere with you. The 
Valkyrie's wings spread open, Angela takes your hand and you both soar into the clouds. I've known many heroes, but you are mine. You have embarked on a journey of love that found you reside at the end. Love takes many forms, but it's always true. May you share this love with mercy forever and always. That was good. That was good. And uh, now I got to call my girlfriend and uh, break her the sad news. <laughs>